this week was the anniversary of the birth of uh, Congressman Jerry Litton. And uh, some of you uh, might have heard of him uh, before. He was a congressman in Missouri from the 6th Congressional District, so a lot of the northwest side of the state. And uh, he uh, was very popular for a show that he started, and it was called Dialogues with Lytton. I was, you know, looking through it. The State Historical Society, which does wonderful work in Missouri, has a bunch of videos up on YouTube, and I've been basically addicted to watching old, like, partial episodes of it and spreading it wherever I can. He would have folks from different parties on his show. Uh, people from all over the country would come to Missouri to talk about the issues, to have candid conversations, and, you know, to really find a lot of areas of agreement. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm looking at what, what this whole setup has become, and it's, it's, it's really exciting to see, I hope, that maybe we can bring some of that back into our conversation. So, um, uh, unfortunately, his life was, was, was lost far too early uh, because the day that he won the primary election to uh, become the Democratic nominee for United States Senate, um, his plane crashed. Uh, he was riding with uh, a friend, um, and his whole family was there. And uh, unfortunately, they all they all passed away. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of memorials up for him. Um, there's a mini documentary that was made. But I wanted to to, to throw it back a little bit. Um, and so I'm going to play this. I know we're we're over time, but you know I think it's important for us to kind of see it. So if you got some time, uh, peer back into the history of Missouri, and maybe it can give us some guidance on where we can move forward with all of this. Congressman Jerry Litton believes that a democracy depends on informed people. He also believes our government should be more open and accessible to the people. To better inform you of what is happening in your government, Missouri's 6th District Congressman Jerry Litton invites Washington personalities to come to Missouri each month and join him in an unrehearsed question and answer open to the public town meeting to discuss key issues facing our nation. Dialogue with Lytton brings you closer to your government and Washington closer to you. Be sure to watch Dialogue with Lytton on this station with Missouri Congressman Jerry Lytton and his guest, the Commissioner of Consumer Affairs for New York City. So you got an interest in the way food reaches the supermarket, because if your good sows get into... You have learned so bacon, much since what? you came to New York. I know what a guild is, too, you know. <laughs> you know, pardon me for interrupting her, but she had not seen a hog until I showed her one in Missouri. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely true. Let me do something here I've never done before. You're a pretty active Democrat, and I'm a Democrat, and, and uh, uh, a lot of people are out here. And I don't know if people will be honest with me, and maybe I shouldn't even ask, but you're talking about us meeting with the people, talking, relating, mm -hmm. as opposed to political rallies. Could we get a show of hands of those who consider themselves Republicans or independents? Would you do that? Well, that's a mighty good, uh, that's a frightening number. <laughs> You don't, you think there are more now than there would have been when we started? <laughs> Jack is running for re-election, and, and I know uh, he has some commitments back home, and Jack, you don't know how much I appreciate your taking time to be with us and be with my people here in Missouri today. Thank you very They're much. They're lucky people. Thank you. And uh, we talk about representative government. Well, we really don't have representative government. To have it representative, they've got to be able to understand our feelings and our concerns. We need more farmers, businessmen, homemakers, housewives, people from the real world serving in public office so they can represent us. You don't have to be hungry to understand those who are hungry, but it helps. Uh, you don't have to have had a crop failure or, or lost your, 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 your crop to understand the problems of the farmer, but that too helps. Neither do you have to fill out dozens of forms every day to understand the problems of businessmen, but that too helps. 
And we have so many in government who've done nothing but government that they can't relate to, understand the problems of real people. That's the reason why we have lost confidence in our government, because our government is not us. It's not us at all. It's not made up of real people. It's made up of plastic politicians and professional bureaucrats. All they know is government, and that's why we have too much of it, in my opinion. I might further add to that that I think also that it would be good to, because we are planning on extending our dialogue program and sharing it with the people of Missouri and we, because we would like for them to feel like we feel with you all. We feel close and uh, we know you're our friends and this is what we would like to do statewide is to bring the government closer to the people so that we can talk and know what the people feel and we feel that we'll both be better off. Thanks for coming today. You've got some time at 3 o'clock. We're going to be texting voters in Missouri. Uh, you're very welcome to come to that. And as always, you can visit us online anytime you'd like at alodgross.org.